If you're thinking about getting Easter egg or chickens, there are two stories that I want to tell you that are just good to know if you're thinking about getting Easter eggers, also known as Americanas, and they have a few different varieties of them. They're called Easter eggers because they they lay the blue eggs, which is super duper cool, and they look kind of like lions or lionesses uh, with big old manes. And they're also kind of weird chickens. They just have a little bit, they have different personalities than the rest. They look like they're wearing black eyeliner, so they seem a little emo, but nonetheless, they're laying blue eggs for us, which is super cool. But I'm gonna move over to the shade. <laughs> This is the second round of chickens that we've had in like maybe six years. We live in town and per our chicken permit, we're only allowed to have six chickens. The first round of chickens, we got an Easter egger because we were excited about the blue eggs, just like a lot of people are. And when I ended up getting the Easter egger, after it was maybe like a month old or something, it was still a very adolescent chicken, not a baby, but not a full grown adult. And it had a crook neck. And a crook neck is basically where the spine is super deformed. And so the chicken doesn't even look straight. Our chicken was kind of like arched this way and if you look at photos online it's super crazy because some of the chickens even have necks that are so twisted that they can't even look this way they're looking up like literally backwards and up and so our first easter egg was a little screwed up and um, as it was growing you could tell that its, ne its neck wasn't really getting into shape and so i ended up calling the farm store that we got the chickens from which is murdoch's but i called and i asked them about this and they said that the whole entire batch of easter eggger chicks that they had gotten that year most of them had crook necks apparently it is a genetic thing that can easily happen to easter eggger chickens so they ended up giving me free chickens and that was that but i did think it was interesting to learn that a lot of easter eggers can have that genetic deformation and so i wasn't really expecting it to lay eventually but we kept it around nonetheless and then one day i came home and it was upside down and like pinned under the door to the coop and it wasn't able to get out and it was it really oh my gosh it just broke my heart it was so freaking sad it just couldn't manage like a normal chicken And so I had kind of had it, unfortunately, and I just uh, chopped its head off right there and then because it wasn't able to survive. But it was turning out to be a really hard chicken to manage just because I couldn't protect it from all the other chickens and it just couldn't <clears throat> hang in light. I just had to make a decision and I just put it out of its suffering, I guess you could say. And then the second thing I want you to know about is that the second round of chickens that we had, so this one, we got these chickens one year ago. One year ago. I'm filming this in March and we got them a year ago in March. Our Easter eggger just laid its first egg on St. Patrick's Day, which was just like a week ago or something, which is just insane to me. So the average chicken takes six weeks to lay eggs, which isn't long, it's four months. And so if you get them in the springtime, in the summertime, they're starting to lay eggs. And I had talked to, I think my sister and my brother-in-law, they have Americanas, and it took them like seven months to lay eggs. And so my husband and I had just kind of thought that our Easter egg was broken. And so we kept it around and it definitely wasn't a rooster and it seemed fine, you know, it seemed healthy and it didn't have a crook neck and seemed totally normal. And we just waited and waited and waited and we literally just got the first egg from it a whole year later. So that's just the second thing I want you guys to know that if you're thinking about getting Easter eggers, these are just two good things to know about, that they take a long freaking time to lay their eggs. And once you get them though, I think she, she's been laying an egg every single day. So I guess now that she's going for it, we're gonna start getting eggs from her. She also laid her first egg in the box where they're, they're supposed to lay their eggs, which is super cool that she was just watching the other chickens and figured it out on her first go. So that's my two quick stories about Easter eggers. That's it, super quick video. And hope you guys are having a good day and chat soon.